If you grew up where snow is a thing, you learned pretty early on that snow and bicycles are not a great mix. There's the steering, which simply doesn't work. You do, however, get extra exercise because you could pedal for what would be a mile and you literally only spin about 10 feet. Well, now, even in a blizzard, your speed can spike with tech bringing us an electric snow bike. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. When you carve out time to experience the quiet attributes of nature, it normally doesn't look like this, does it? Well, now you can speed across trails in winter and fly high in the mountains without a sound. This 100% electric snow bike was invented by aerospace engineer Nico Mirone. And with his company called Moon Bikes, you get the thrill of snowmobiling and motocross mixed with the chill of zen. I piled on some winter gear and headed to Idaho Springs, Colorado to experience some majestic wide open spaces with the French founder. Ooh. So this is it. Ah. These are the bikes. If you were to describe moon bikes to somebody who'd never heard of or seen a moon bike before, how would you describe it? Moon bikes is the first ever electric snow bike. So it's three times lighter than a snowmobile. It's way easier to use, and it's easier to transport, and easier to store. And most of all, it's a lot of fun. How did the idea for the moon bike even surface in your mind? Uh, so I am a mountain and tech lover, and I got the idea in the French Alps. I'm a former aerospace engineer, so I wanted to use my skills to create an ultralight but powerful machine to explore winter environment. Let's talk some about the, the specifics within yeah. uh, the moon bike and what makes up the moon bike. Yeah, so I wanted the bike to be really minimalist. There's a single ski, so you have to, to lean the bike when you turn. And the most interesting part is the track system. At the beginning, I used the snowmobile technology with a motor, a chain, and a sprocket. One day, the story is funny, I unlocked the backward mode and I realized that it was way more efficient going backward. I realized that I should put the motor at the back of the track so that there's no chain, no belt, direct torque. It was way more efficient. What a happy experiment slash discovery. Yeah. Since this is using a battery, we don't need to use any petroleum. There's no gas in no, here, right? No, it's 100% electric. The moon bike's top speed is 26 miles an hour. It weighs 260 pounds, and the lithium battery, which is stored inside a heated battery box in the seat, can last you roughly an hour and a half. And with an extra battery, that time increases to three hours. Nico let me try the moon bike on this sunny day. Are you ready? I'm so ready, Nico. <laughs> awesome. I think I'm getting it, Nico! <laughs> Woo! A bike with the moon name, giving us a whole new way to ride off into the sunset. Good.